The Oklahoma man trapped inside his rental car after it caught fire here almost five months ago remains hospitalized. 33-year-old Jordan Carlton was pinned behind the wheel of the Kia Soul he was driving and suffered burns over most of his body. Jen Boniza has more in a story you'll see only on KHON2. Jen? Joe, Jordan Carlton's life will never be the same. Almost his entire body was burned. Doctors even had to amputate all of his fingers and all but one toe. He's sedated and lives in constant pain. Some of the images in the story may be difficult to look at. This is Jordan Carlton, a happy, healthy 33-year-old with his family. This is Jordan after the accident. Severely burned, almost unrecognizable. Will he ever have a normal life? I think that's pretty clear. He won't. He can't eat. He can't sit up. He can do nothing but uh, lie there. He endures skin graft procedures daily, which are painful, but they're meant to fight off infection. They're going to have to operate on his eyes because he can't close them totally. They put drops in his eyes hourly to prevent them from drying up, or he could go blind. I'm told it's a miracle he's alive. This footage captures the car Jordan was driving completely ablaze with him still inside. Jordan and his mother Becky were visiting from Oklahoma. They had rented the 2019 Kia Soul the day before. It only had 4,000 miles on it. They were driving along the H3 headed to the beach when it burst into flames. Becky jumped and was able to escape. Jordan wasn't so lucky. It's not the first time a Kia has burst into flames. And it's happened according to the uh, Center for Auto Safety several thousand times in the Kia Soul. In March, Kia recalled 380,000 2012 to 2016 Kia Souls due to risk of engine fires. So far, Kia has not recalled any 2019 Kia Souls. They have not stepped up to the plate. They should voluntarily recall these, not waiting for NHTSA to. Uh, Demand it. In a statement, a Kia spokesperson said, Kia Motors America recognizes that the Carltons, as well as the general public, deserve an understanding of the cause of this incident. We also recognize that the injuries suffered by Jordan Carlton are serious and significant. Kia says that they have now done two investigations into the cause of the fire. They were unable to determine the cause of the blaze from the initial investigation in July. They are currently reviewing the results from their November investigation. Kia says if they find any defect, they will immediately begin a recall. The lawsuit against Kia is expected to go to trial next year. For more on this story, go to KH12.com. We will follow up and let you know what happens. Joe.